is going to take this shot, but just don't give up on the ball. Ernie Abercrombie, once again, is continuing to work. He's doing a great job at hustling after loose ball, getting to the ball first, trying to come up with those possessions. And at 6'4", he has excellent athletic ability to be able to hang in the air. Now the timeout situation. Gave you with three full timeouts. And the only bad thing about Miner didn't want to lose possession a moment ago or get called for the travel, but he did take their final timeout. And Potter, the ball is blocked, goes straight in the air. The fans wanted the technical. They thought it was touched while it was still in the hands of Oklahoma. That was excellent hustle by yep. Scott Powell. What yep. he did was jump straight up in the air, deflected the ball, caught it in the air, and threw it back in bounds to his teammate. That's a great hustle play. Well, it's a big play right here as Pollard took it up strong and he was fouled. Scott has got 12 second half points. Once again, Pollard has a six foot four inch Amber Conference trying to defend. And now Roy Williams' staff has recognized that. Look at the position he has inside. He's got a lock. Here comes the lob. He's got the ball inside. And he's just simply using his height advantage to take the ball right up to the basket. Occupying the spot on the bench. Pollard misses, but he comes up with the carom and a new 35 seconds for the Jayhawks. What a luxury for Roy Williams to have seven footers on the court who understand how to keep control of a loose ball. Keep the ball high in the air. We talked at the beginning, Ron, about having a high-scoring game versus a low-scoring game. Low-scoring game meant it would be to Kansas' advantage. High-scoring game, probably Oklahoma would have the advantage. Harrison for three. Air ball, but LaFrance is right there. Boy, if you want to put an asterisk by any play in this game, that is a four-point lead in a situation that could have been a tie at the other end. A play like that will make a young coach very old in a hurry. Conscious. Don't tell John he's six feet tall. <laughs> he thinks he's seven feet, and he plays that way. There's a whistle and a foul away from the ball, and Miner picks up the violation as he was trying to hold LaFrance, and it's a one-and-one one situation. Well, Ryan, Ryan Miner was trying to overplay. He was trying to deny the ball to coming into the high poses, and in doing so, he does pick up that foul, but, you know, still great hustle by Oklahoma. They have to play the passing lines. Well, at midnight tonight, immediately following Sports Center, New Mexico State at UNLV as we continue Big Monday. Brought to you by Bud Light. LaFrance well off the mark, and it's Miner who clears. Sooners can tie it on this trip, and it was partially blocked as LaFrance got a piece of it. Kansas wants a timeout. As you get a look at Karen Sampson, the wife of Kelvin, has been a timeout call. 15.5 seconds left. We'll be right back. ESPN NCAA Basketball. Brought to you by Cadillac and your Cadillac dealer. Creating a higher standard. And by Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. with you from the Noble Center on the campus of Oklahoma University. There's the situation. Sooners leading by one. They have the
the basketball with 15.5 seconds left on the clock and a new season high. 11,385 in attendance to this ball game tonight. Number one KU, can they hold on? Right now, they trail it by one. All the Sooners need to do is get the ball in bounds and move it around. Whistle in a foul by Hans. The Miner will go to the line. And Miner is an 81, almost an 82 percent free throw shooter. That numbers, I believe, is incorrect, Ron. He's close to an 89 percent free throw shooter. He actually leads the Big Eight Conference in free throw percentage. Substitution for the Sooners. Checking back in is number four. James Miner. Ryan Miner's father. I think he's a little nervous. I think he is as his son goes to the line with 26 points. He is two of three on the free throw line tonight. Three-pointer on the way. Not there. Anches with the carom. And this one is history. <laughs> the final score. Oklahoma, 76. Number one ranked Kansas, 73. So this past Saturday, number nine Missouri fell to the hands of Kelvin Sampson and his Oklahoma Sooners. Tonight, the number one Jayhawks are defeated by three, 76 to 73. Sports Center is coming up next as this wacky Big 8 conference continues its stroll to the finish line. <laughs>